Hello guys, I'm Spicy Bill, and this is going to be a review on the Kotobukiya MSG modeling support good. This one here is called the Weapon Units uh, 08 Battle Lance. So, uh, yeah, it's all in Japanese, but that's what it's called. So, Battle Lance, uh, nothing here is in English at all except for the caution information. You can see that this is actually recommended for ages uh, 14 and up. Yeah, again, inconsistencies. In Japan, this one is uh, recommended for ages 15 and up. In North America here and in Europe, I guess it's uh, recommended for ages 14 and up. Um, okay, anyway, it doesn't really matter. Here we have the UPC code and we have the JANCO. JANCO is for Japan, I believe. Uh, this is made in China, just like most Kotobukiya product. These are specifically designed for uh, Kotobukiya uh, frame arms and frame arm girls model kits but as you can see here you can also use a gunpla just like you know pretty much a lot of people buy Kotobuki accessories to use their gunpla and why is that because well it's cool a lot of them are actually really nice I kind of took a break on Kotobuki uh, you know uh, accessories for a while because you know there weren't stuff that really interests me but this thing here is freaking awesome Okay, so uh, you can see here we have the very simple assembly instructions. Yeah, it, it's very uh, easy to assemble, and then you have a couple options to uh, display this unit, which I'm going to show you all of it uh, to get the best, uh, you know, get the most out of this. Uh, I guess the uh, uh, the battle lance. Uh, you do have to paint some parts uh, right here. You probably need to paint that a uh, gunmetal gray. Uh, paint the blade maybe with like some stainless steel. Uh, yeah, you, you can do all that. Uh, I, I'm, I'm actually going to paint it uh, eventually. I'm going to use the testers metalizer lacquer. But this time I'm actually going to take it to a Tatsu Hobby. Uh, and then use, uh, you know, use an airbrush. Because hand painting this thing, I have destroyed way too many uh, paint brushes. Uh, trying to hand paint lacquer onto a... You know, plastic stuff like that. So this time, I'm actually just gonna use uh, an airbrush, to, and I'm gonna mask everything. Okay, so uh, that's the basics, and uh, let's go ahead and t take a look at this unit. So I have the u uh, I have this thing broken down into uh, some parts. So the shield here can be wheeled onto the forearm. Uh, via this adapter here you can see right there there's a little handle that goes into the shield and the shield is actually uh, very simple so let me go ahead and get that uh, off right here and show you guys how the shield work it looks great on the uh, uh, goof originally I was going to uh, replace the uh, uh, the uh, gun Krieger's uh, you know beam lands with this weapon because this looks a lot better uh, but instead, I am going to uh, just give this one to a goof or something. <laughs> Maybe paint it to match the color. Because, uh, yeah, I, I want to pimp out my goof. Uh, you know, my goofs. So you can see the back of the shield. We have these uh, connectors pieces. Uh, you can, you know, uh, connect the shield however you want. So you have a lot of customization option there. And the shield can also be attached to the lance itself. So you just take this piece right here, and then you flip that over. Okay, hang on. Uh, let's go ahead and connect that right here. And this will actually attach to the lance itself. So I'm going to show you guys how that works. Actually, this is not the right way to do it. This is the right way to do it. Anyway. Um, hang on, yeah, let's work on this a little bit like that, there we go, okay, so here we have the lens itself, the lens is pretty cool, I'm using the, uh, I guess the, uh, heavy, uh, caliber, uh, barrel, this right here is actually, uh, a projectile weapon, so it fires like this, uh, you, you can see that, this is like a barrel of a rifle, so right here, this is the gun itself, and it can fire out like, you know, projectile. Probably looks more interesting if you remove this. 
make it kind of look like a you know projectile weapon like a cannon or something like that you have a bayonet right there that's actually very cool okay so I'm gonna show you guys the uh, how to assemble the uh, battle lance so you just attach the tip right there and you know what I'm actually just gonna pull this off right here and reassemble this section uh, so the shield section actually attach attaches right here yeah I knew I did this wrong so there we go all right attach right here you have the peg hole that goes right here like that this just covers the outside uh, of the uh, unit so there we go this thing is broken down into three parts so we got this middle section we got the lance itself and then we got this piece this is like the uh, like that so there we go and then uh, you attach this piece right here like that that goes over the arm like that then you attach it right here like so You attach this piece right there and then you attach this piece like so and there we go there we have the uh, lance and it is lens mode it's like he's like you know ready to charge at a mobile suit like maybe like a, yeah just like you using the thrusters and just like dashing forward toward like a, a Gundam or something like that that's pretty cool there's also another way you can wield the uh, lance now uh, in this format uh, it's more like holding it like a spear so basically what you do here you have to reposition the hand so with this one it's gonna be a little bit tricky because uh, you know we all love these uh, gunpla hands well the Kotobukiya use the same design too that you have to take apart the uh, hand and then uh, Re, uh, reattach. I wish one day they would come out with better technology, but anyway, this is what we we have to contend with now, <laughs> right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and move this up a little bit, and there we go. Push this in, and now the Zaku has a lance weapon. Yeah, it's uh, you can see maybe this uh, not the Zaku. Why did I call this thing a Zaku? The goof may be a little small for this uh, to hold it like this. This might be a little bit uh, if you get like a bigger mobile suit, maybe like a unicorn uh, or something like that. <laughs> Technically, this is long forty-four scale. So this is the Gundam Universe uh, Unicorn Gundam action figure. And if I can get the stupid beam rifle out of the hand, we can try to get this to work on that. So hang on. Oh boy, I really don't like that design. I'm still hoping one day, you know, part of the accelerated evolution of Gunpla, uh, they would give us, you know, different style hands. Okay, so let's see if the unicorn can hold this thing better yeah it looks more natural holding it uh, with being willed by the unicorn but uh, this is like a very archaic weapon to be used with the unicorn unless this thing can shoot beam uh, energy or something like that I don't think this is a uh, this is gonna be a uh, you know weapon that you want to use on the unicorn but whatever you can do whatever you want uh, I think it's pretty cool I really like uh, this accessory uh, you can get this for around 10 bucks at Tatsu Hobby. I think 10 or 11 dollars. That's what I got it for. Um, I definitely recommend this one. This uh, this quite a few things you can do with this. Uh, it's a very cool looking weapon. Uh, you can use it with your Kotobukiya kits, or you can use it with your Gunpla, or your action figures, or whatever. Um, it's actually a little bit too small for 1/6 scale. Originally, I wanted to use this with, you know, one of my one six scale figure. It's too small. It, it's uh, the lance needs need to uh, the tip needs to be a lot bigger if you want to use it one six scale. So that was a plus, but it's still great for the model kits and you know six inch action figures. So yeah, that's cool. Um, that's pretty much it for this review. I hope you guys find the information helpful. And as always, 
Thanks for watching.